All right, so I got the record rack back on and everything is oiled. Gonna go put it back in, but before I do, I want, since I've got it out and it's just right here in my face, I want to clean the contacts. So, again, this is an SMC1 1979, so much later than most all the other Seaberg jukeboxes. And uh, it has different contacts. I mean, these are obviously very similar to the ones that you're gonna see on most everything in the trip. But down here, on the side of the carriage, you see this little ramp piece? And there's actually one under there that you can't see as well. But as the as it shuttles back and forth, as this uh, this one right here goes up that ramp, it pushes it back and it makes a contact. And on this one, it's the lower rack, lower uh, one. As it goes along, it's going to push up and it's going to make these contacts happen. So why not clean the contacts that I have while I can, you know? So, a lot of different ways of doing things and I'm not pretending I'm the best. But what I do is I, I found some decent contact cleaner. If you read this stuff, it contains hex, uh, hexane and heptane and xylene and acetone. And basically, extremely flammable, evaporates very, very fast. So don't be smoking, don't have this near anything that is a flame. And basically, I'm just going to spray it on a contact. I'm going to wipe it. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to bend these contacts. I don't really want to adjust them. They are working just fine as far as I know. So I don't want to mess with how far apart anything is. I just want to clean the surface between the two pieces that um, you know, contact. So I get a lot of junk mail. And it seems to me that, you know, please recycle. Well, gosh, I'm going to reuse. So I'm just going to cut this into some strips. And I'm going to spray... And I'm going to put that in between and kind of gently force it be the two contacts together and drag the paper through it and clean the contact. No big deal. Oh, um, side note. This is your stylus and your pickup. You know, what the part that touches the needle that touches the record. And it goes down. And I don't know if you can see down there. See those little wires? That's a little blue and red. That actually comes out over here and it comes down here and I don't know if you can tell on yours but these are the most microscopic wires I have ever seen in my entire life and they're easily broken so you can see how they're just kind of uh, tack soldered there so you want to be very careful as you're messing with things that you don't break any one of those wires or else life will not be good you will not have the sound that you want. All right, time to clean. All right, so I'm about ready to put this switch back where it belongs in here. Uh, but you know, when it's in there, nobody really can see what the switch is. So I thought maybe I'd just give you a quick tour. So it's just, you know, two wires coming down to it. So it's just basically an on off switch. So right now you can see those contacts are open. And when it pushes up against this little piece of plastic right here, it just basically pushes them. I can do my finger. Well, I can't do it and hold it. But yeah, when it pushes on there, it just pushes those two pieces together and makes an electrical contact. You can see in there, that one's kind of rounded and this one is flat. And you really don't want to go in there and sand these things down. All I'm really going to do is just clean them. And to do that, I'm, I can't do it and video. I'm just going to take a little contact cleaner. I'm going to spray it on a paper towel. I'm just going to gently put it in between the two and then just pull it through just to clean off anything that might be there that I might have gotten on a little oil. No big deal.